This is Craig. We are going to discuss in this tutorial how to set up an account with Google+. In case you're not familiar with Google+, it is the most recent social media network and it has taken the world by storm. Already in under a year there have been more than a hundred million members who have signed up to use Google+. It is becoming a very, very, very big social media network and it is one that you and your organization should be on because it is a great way to connect with potential supporters and to drive potential donations. So we're going to talk a little bit about first setting up your personal account with Google and then setting up a Google Plus account because a Google account is required. But luckily you can do it all in one step and we're going to discuss how to do that in this tutorial. You might be asking why do you need a Google Plus account? Well that's a very good question. Let's discuss that for a moment. If you think about some of the bigger social media networks, and we'll discuss the big three, you have Facebook, Twitter, and of course Google Plus. Facebook has roughly 800 million members worldwide. Twitter has somewhere between 350 and 400 million members and as I mentioned before Google Plus now has a little over 100 million members. There are many estimates based on the speed or velocity of new members being added. Uh, there are estimates saying that Google Plus may have as many as 400 million members by the end of this year, 2012. Uh, that's an amazing feat if it ends up coming true. They will have, in less than one year, equaled about half of Facebook's entire worldwide population. So you can see just from these numbers already that uh, Google Plus is a great place to be for yourself and for your organization. So we're going to jump right in and discuss how you can create a Google Plus account. Up here in the top corner when you go to Google Plus, when we can show you what that website is here. You can do it two ways, but you can just type in google.com forward slash plus. And that will take you to this website. There are other addresses you could type in like plus.google.com or google.com forward slash and then the plus symbol. It'll all get you to the same place. Now if you don't have an account, you're going to want to create an account because you have to have one to do this. So you can click right here in this blue link which says you need a Google account to join Google. So we're going to create one right now. Create an account. And you'll be taken to the simple Google account creation page. So we're going to enter in some information here. I'm going to do some quick information. This is the John Smith Foundation at gmail.com. We'll see here that someone has already entered that username. So if you enter a username that's already been used, you'll have to change it. So we're going to name this John Smith Foundation and the number one. And we're going to create a password and we're going to type in a password and it's going to be very simple. You have to include a birth date. We'll include the gender. You don't have to include a mobile phone. We'll skip that. If you ever have problems logging in or you need a password reset, you can include another email address, which would be your current email address, and they'll send you a note there if you need a reset. You'll simply put in the CAPTCHA, agree to the terms, and click Next. You'll see here it shows you how on your profile you will show up. Here we have the name John Smith. You have the choice to add a profile photo now, which you can do. We will skip that step. And then it gives you some welcome information. It tells you what your new address is. Of course, the username that we put in, and it'll say at gmail.com. That is your new Gmail address, which is the address you will use with your Google Plus profile. You'll click this button here. Continue to Google Plus. I'm going to increase the page size on this so it's easier to see. Now, once you start your Google Plus profile, Google will ask you to invite your friends to see if you have any friends who are currently on Google Plus. And if so, it will invite them for you. And it allows you to do that guy by going through you, Yahoo or your Hotmail accounts. Uh, if you don't use either of those sites and don't have contacts in those places, you will hit skip this step. And then it's going to give you some information about adding people that you might know to your circles. And this you can do by simply adding an email of somebody or even someone's name. For, ex 
example, you can add in someone's name here. And we could search for my name and hit the search button and it will show you this person. And we can add that person to different circles. We'll talk a little bit more about that as we move on. For now, we will hit continue. Then it's going to ask if there are any types of public figures that you would like to follow. And these are just general promoted or recommended people that Google is giving you. I would recommend if you're just starting off not to mess, too, mess around with this too much and just click continue. Now it's going to ask you to plug in some information for your basic profile. So what you're going to do is add your general information in here. None of this information is required, but you can add it in to tweak out your profile a little bit. So we're going to put some general information in here. John Smith works at the John Smith Foundation and he is the executive director there. And let's just say that he lives in Nashville, Tennessee. Again, we'll leave the profile photo where it is for now, and we will click Finish. This is your Google Plus profile. This is what it looks like. Now, for all intents and purposes, you have just created a Google Plus account, and in general, a Google account. But since we entered it through the Google Plus account framework, we are taken first to the Google Plus account. And we're just going to walk through here and show you what the account looks like and what the different features are. Up in the top left is your name and your profile picture. We didn't add a profile picture, so right now we just see the standard blank picture with the name. You'll see information here called a stream, and you'll have a few different settings. You'll see what's hot, and as things get added, they will be added to that area. And then chat, so that you can chat directly with your friends or people who are in what Google calls your circles. Now, Google uses this word circles as opposed to friends on Facebook or followers on Twitter. But it's the same kind of idea. Someone in your circle is either someone whom you follow or someone who follows you. And there's a distinction there, and we'll talk a little bit about that in one of the future tutorials related to setting up your Google Plus circles. But to continue, we'll talk a little bit about the Plus profile. Right now, there are no posts in the stream. And you add a post to your stream, which goes out to the public, kind of like if you added a post to a Facebook wall. But the idea here is that you add a post in this little box, and you could type anything. You could add a photo, you could add uh, a video, even a YouTube video, and you can add links and even a map for a place. But let's just try a simple post. Hello world. Of course, I have to be able to spell better. This is my first post on Google+. It's asking you to add some circles or people to share with. We are just going to make this public. And we will click Share. And then it gives you some information about putting up your first post and having a couple quick tips. I would recommend that you go through these tips to understand how you post and what you do with posting. Now you'll see down below that this post gets added here. The name is hyperlinkable, meaning if I were to click on this name, it would go to this person's post. Of course, that's me. It shows a little bit of information about that post. And then it has a few other things, like you can make a comment on this post, you could hang out with this person, which is an audio and video chatting protocol, and you could share this post with your circles. So if we were looking at someone else's screen and we saw this post, we could share it. You can also plus one it, and that means you like it. It's almost like Facebook like. Um, and a plus one increases your visibility through Google search. It's a great search engine optimizer uh, for your website and for your posts here through Google. Now up in your top menu bar here, you'll see the Google Plus icon. This is a home button with a stream little logo in there. That's what we're looking at now, the stream. Up here, if you click on this link, you'll notice photos you can add photos to your profile. You can also see photos from your friends. And you'll have choices here in the menu bar. Photos from your phone. If you have an Android phone or another smartphone with a camera that links into Google+, when you take a photo, it will automatically be added to this profile. It won't be shared with anyone, but it'll be there. And if you want to share it, you can do that. 
And you could also click photos of you. And this will give you a link to upload a photo of yourself, which you could later use as a profile photo. You click on this middle button. It's a picture of a head with a circle around it. And this is your actual profile. So people out there in Google Space, Google Plus Space, will see this page when they look for your name. They see your posts. They can click About You to get information. This is the information we plugged in earlier. They can look at your photos, your videos, and anything that you've plus one that you've set to be public. These up top are your circles. This again is like friends in Facebook. But the beauty of Google Plus is that it lets you segment your friends list into these idea of circles. And you'll see they give you a couple suggestions. Acquaintances, family, friends, you could create your own circles. And again, we'll get into this in another tutorial, but uh, the friends feature is great. It gives you a little bit more granularity with whom you're sharing or with whom you're getting information from. When you put somebody, for example, in a friend circle, and let's say you create a post that you only want to go to friends. Rather than having to type in exactly which friends you want to see that post, you could just click the entire friend circle and everyone who has designated a friend in that circle will be able to see that post. Let's say you wanted to send a post only to family members, something that was personal of nature. You would share that with just your family circle. So Google Plus really does a great job at giving you the ability to have a really granular set of items with which you can share. And in terms of security, it's much better and it's much more secure than using a system like Twitter or Facebook. When you are ready to post, you will post here in your stream. And from now and then, you might get some hints and some tips from Google+. They're saying that this Think Geek is maybe uh, something that's hot right now. As you start posting more, this will go away and your screen, your stream, will be updates just from your friends and your circles. Now finally, one of the last things we'll talk about is the status bar up top. And you'll notice that Google has integrated this status bar across all their accounts. Right here is plus John, and if your name was Tim, that would say plus Tim. But this is your Google Plus account. If you clicked here in Gmail, it would go to your Gmail account, your Google Calendar, your Google Documents, your Photos on Picasa, and so forth. Up here is your name for your Google Plus account. If you click on that, it will show you some general information and you could link to other account settings. And in another tutorial, I'll show you how to tweak your account settings for the best privacy. Up here are your notifications. Anytime someone sends you a message within Google+, a notification will pop up and you can control these notifications and what shows up. You'll see it's just a few things. It's a notification that we started Google+, and Google is telling us you can share certain things by taking a look at a video. That's fine. You can also click up here in a very quick window from any account. I'll give you an example. If we're in our Gmail account, you could still come up here. I'm going to click through this window. You could still come up here and just click on the share button. This is a Google Plus post from Gmail. And you'll click share. And then we'll go back to a Google Plus account. And you'll notice that that has been added. This is a Google Plus post from Gmail. So you can use this share box from anywhere within all of the Google products. No matter where you are, it will post to your Google Plus account. And then finally, you could come over here and click on this button and actually drill down into your Google Plus settings. And this is where you can get really detailed with the privacy and uh, applications that might share your Google Plus account. And that's basically all there is to it. Just a few steps and you've created your Google Plus account. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment on this video or on our website at orgspring.com. Thanks for joining us. Hope you join us for the next Google Plus tutorial.